What's up, everybody? Welcome to some Blue Red Kiki Jiki. Hope you're ready to get your combo on. Uh, as far as our opening hand goes, we have Scalding Tarn, Spire Bluff, uh, Peak, Jace. Yeah, we're going to keep on this one. Not too bad. We can make this work. Uh, lead off with the Spire Bluff and then go for a nice little peek, see what our opponent's got uh, cooking in the kitchen. Actually, excuse me, they're on the uh, they're on the play and then we're on the draw. So get down to Woodfoot Hills. But yes, welcome to some Blue Red Kiki Jiki. This has been... Um, a lot of fun so far. I always like playing Kiki Jiki. It's a lot of fun, um, especially when your opponents get down any sort of uh, any sort of hand disruption, and uh, they see the Pester Mites and the Deceiver Exarchs in your hand, and you're always just like, oh yeah, I'm trying to keep the dream alive over here. All right, opponent's getting down a uh, Insolent Neonate. It could we could be playing against Dredge, or it could be the uh, red green version of Vindvine. I've seen a lot of that online so far. So. And then we'll also kind of see what's going on with our opponent once we get down the uh, Spire Bluff. So see what we draw into. Draw into a Lightning Bolt. Discard a card, sacrifice. Yeah, let's just go and get down the Spire Bluff Canal. Uh, we're going to be able to get that down if we want to. We can uh, get down Jace next turn, shocking in the, um, uh, cracking the Scalding turn, getting that down and get that down. But I think at this point, we'll just go and leave up Peak right now. We will be online for Lightning Bolt, so they get some sort of crazy opening hand. Uh, we can kind of go from there. But uh, we'll see what they got uh, going on once we kind of pass the turn. So, Life from the Loam. All right, Conflagrate. It might be just straight up to Dredge on this one, so... But yeah, as far as the deck goes, if you're not familiar with the, uh, it's the old Splinter Twin deck. It revolved around uh, Pestermite and Deceiver Exarch putting the Enchantment Splinter Twin on there. You would make a copy of it, it would enter the battlefield, you untap that creature, make another copy of it. So basically you're just playing some sort of infinite combo style deck, which is um, a lot of fun, but they banned Splinter Twin. But we're still trying to keep the dream alive by playing with uh, Kiki Jiki in the place. It is a little clunky sometimes, but um, hey gotta have some fun. Alright, so we have Cliffs, Blood Gas, Conflagrate, times two, Stinkweed Imp, and then um, I'm actually going to, uh, let's go and grab this real quick. For some reason on Peak, they don't give you a copy of what it is, so that way we can kind of cross it off as they go. Okay, draw into another island. Let's go ahead and, so they have Cliffs, Blood Gas, Blood Stay, Mire, Conflagrate. Let's go ahead and go for, um, let's get down Jace actually, let's get down the Scalding Tarn. Just want to make sure we have access to red, so let's go and grab the uh, Steam Vince. Let's go and shock that in. Let's go for the Jace Vince Prodigy. And then anything else? Now we're going to go past the turn. All right, so we've got Jace down. Uh, we do have Deceiver in the hand, Pester Might. So really, all we're needing is um, we need to get to five mana to get into Kiki Jiki. That's the unfortunate side of the combo is that we're um, instead of our win condition being four mana. In the Splinter Twin Enchantment, uh, we're stuck with Kiki Jiki at 5 total mana and triple red. So the combo is a little clunky sometimes, but you still have these, um, you'll end up with some games where you just kind of get some free wins, uh, which are kind of nice. Alright, opponent get the Haunted Dead in hand and then the uh, Prized Amalgam in, in the graveyard. Let's see what they're going to go for. They did play the, uh, let's see what they played for the turn. They used, okay, they used the Dredger Ability from Life Alone, so they had not made a land drop for the turn yet. Going for 2. Let's see what they're tapping out for. But yeah, this is a Tim. If you're not familiar with the Splinter Twin deck, it was banned. Uh, I can't remember how long ago it was banned. Convergate for Seth. <laughs> All right, it's gonna definitely take care of Jace. All right, get rid of the Convergate. That's gonna get the Cliffs down. It's gonna cross those off. And they get down the Bloodgast. Prize of Algon is gonna pop back. Now we do have Lightning Bolt and we do have uh, access to Cryptic Command. So hopefully, let's see what we kind of draw into to see if we can't get out from underneath this. Draw into Kiki Jiki. All right, we're getting somewhere. Let's go and go Island. Now with this deck, it's a little bit more of a tempo style deck. Um, what we can do is we can Lightning Bolt the Prize of Malcolm to get into the graveyard, kind of reduce the amount that we're taking. At this point right now, we hopefully we want to um, hopefully kind of get to five mana. Then we might be able to kind of combo off from there. But we'll see what we need to go for as far as right now. All right, get the uh, Narcomiba coming out of the graveyard off that dredge. And then they still have Stinkweed, uh, Stinkweed Imp in the graveyard too if they want to dredge that. See, they're going to swing in. And then they do have, yeah, they're going to be able to make the land drop for the turn. Do we want to go and Lightning Bolt Prize of Amalgam? It's going to put us down to 10 with the swing in with the Blood Ghast. Yeah, let's go and go for that. We can go it again next turn. Um, oh, actually helps if we tap for red on that one. There we go. Let's tap for red. Let's send a bolt over to the Prize of Amalgam. They're going to be getting him for two. If we don't hit the land drop, um, next turn we will be online for Snapcaster Bolt. Uh, so we can get rid of the Prize of Amalgam again if they uh, get it back out of the graveyard somehow. But hopefully we're just make, hoping we hit the land drop. If we do hit the land drop for the turn, we're going to be online for Cryptic Command. That way we can kind of tap down whatever they've got going on. And then hopefully we can kind of combo off from there. 
Yeah, but yeah, the deck's a lot of fun. If you're an old twin player and you're kind of missing going for that nice little twin value style deck, um, definitely kind of give it a sleep. If you have the card, sleeve it up. You just need to pick up some Kiki Jikis. Draw into Is It Charm. Um, let's go ahead on this one. Let's go ahead and go Is It Charm, draw two cards, discard two cards. We really want to hit the land drop if we're going to get out of this one. And we have a couple things that we can kind of discard off this one. All right, let's go and get rid of the remand. And I guess we'll go ahead and... Worst comes to worst, we can always just simply just flash in um, Snapcaster to be a little bit of a chump blocker. Let's go and get rid of the Pester Might. Is that the best use of it? Yeah, we'll go and do that. You know, we are we'll be online next turn for Cryptic Command, so if we need to kind of tap them out again, uh, we can. And we are at 10 total life, so their blood gas, any other sort of blood gas they get coming out of the graveyard, will be online as far as haste is concerned. So we'd have to watch out for that. Anything else? No, we're going to go and pass the turn. So we're going to cracking the Misty. We'll be able to grab another uh, Steam Vents off that. That'll give us the necessary three mana, uh, red mana for Kiki Jiki. And then right now we're just kind of in a little bit of a holding pattern. But yeah, the, as far as if you're not familiar with Twin, it's more of a tempo style deck in that we're just kind of just playing to the speed of our opponent's deck. And um, yeah, and playing against Dredge, it's it's pretty quick. So we're going to try and combo off as quick as we can. All right, so got the Haunted Dead coming back. Got the Prized Amalgam coming back. Got a 1-1 one, one Spirit on the battlefield that's going to bring Prize Amalgam back. So now we're looking at coming across, it's going to be uh, 1, 2, uh, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's going to be 6 coming across. We will be online for Cryptic Command next turn. And if we want to, um, yeah, let's see. So that's going to be uh, 3, 4, it's going to be 7, 8, 9. We crack, go down, shock. <sighs> Because we're going to need access to that third red mana for Kiki Jiki. So we crack, that's going to be 9, plus uh, 9 minus 2 is going to be 7, chump block. And that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That'll still put us at 1. I mean, I guess it's better than nothing, but let's go and crack. And then we still have, well, there's still Convergate coming out of the graveyard, I'm pretty sure. So let's go and shock the Steam Vids in. Go to get down Snapcaster Mage. And then that should be correct. It's going to be one, two, three. Yeah, let's go Snapcaster. I'll just go and target Is It Charm on this one. And then let's go and Chunk Block on the uh, Prized Amalgam. Okay, right, it's going to put us down to one. And then I think they might have Convergate in the hand. I'm trying to keep track of... Um, I think they have one more Convergate that they might be able to go for, or at least discard X cards out of the graveyard uh, and target creatures or players. So we'll see what they're going to go for off that. If not, we're going to be online for Cryptic Command next turn, but I'm pretty sure that um, we're going to be dead to Convergate. Yep, we are, for one. Got us. Let's go ship this over to uh, Sideboard. As far as what we want to change, let's see. Dispel, let's go and bring in two Anger of the Gods. Don't really need Ancient Grudge or anything. We could bring in Tarmogorce on this one, but I actually kind of like pushing the uh, pushing the combo on this one. So let's just go and bring in the Anger of the Gods. That'll be a good way to kind of clean up all those Prize of Malcolms, any sort of blood gas they get on the battlefield. Anything else we want to bring in? Let's just go and back off the... Um, I still like Jace in this matchup. It's going to be a nice target for them to kind of get rid of. If not, we can start looting from there. Let's just get rid of the, um, the Is It Charms. We do... We can leave Spellsir in here because we can also catch the Life from the Lum coming off of that. Anything else we want to change? I think I like it. Let's go and shift this over to game two. Okay, let's get the chat closed out. And we would love to play first. Yes, indeed. All right, now as far as opening hand goes, we've got Mountain, Steam Vents, we have Snapcaster, Serum Visions. Yeah, we don't really have any of our combo pieces. Um, I'll be able to draw into it off the Remand Serum. Yeah, look, we're going to keep on this one. It's not the best opening hand, but we can at least go and shock in the Steam Vents, get that down. We'll have access to three total red mana once we go for the Misty. Let's go and shock that in. Pay two. Let's go for the Serum Visions. And then there's our combo on top. Okay, um, let's go ahead and go. So we have one, two, three, four, five. That's going to be total. Let's go and go Kiki Jiki on top, and let's put Deceiver on top. Perfect, and then we're going to go and pass turn. So that's going to put us online. We'll be online for Remand next turn. Hopefully, we can kind of catch something off the Remand, go for a little time walk style effect. And then, if we need to, we will have Snapcaster Remand to kind of back up from there. So, but yeah, the game's a lot of fun. You know, we are playing a blue red tempo style deck, but there will be some games where you simply just kind of, uh, oops, I win. Um, you draw into the necessary combo piece that you need. You finally hit that Deceiver XR. You finally hit that Kiki Jiki. And then you can kind of get the combo going from there. That's one of the bummers about Twin being banned is. Um, I was playing Modern around the time Twin was in its heyday, and um, I never played Twin. I was a little bit more of a brewer back then, but I was kind of brewing, I guess you'd consider just Tier 2 
uh, jank style stuff. And let's go and get the mountain down. Anything else? We have that Kiki Jiki on top, so you don't want to crack that misty. Anything else? Turn? No, we're going to go past turn. So, if they're going to go for the dredge off Life of the Loam, that'll put us online for Reman. We'll draw into Kiki Jiki. And then we can slowly just start making our land drops from there. Just kind of flash into Seaver at the end of the turn. And then uh, hopefully try and combo off from there. But yeah, as far as Twin goes, yeah, Twin was. Um, you know, it was the deck to beat whenever I was playing Modern, and it was, unfortunately it was one of those where I was brewing, and I never really played Twin, uh, but towards the end, I was actually getting ready to start building Twin, because I had a lot of the, um, a lot of the mana base, I was really excited about that, and then, uh, I, well, I didn't buy any cards, but it was like on my radar to do, and then uh, Twin got banned, and I said, oof, glad I didn't buy into that, so ever since then, Cathartic Reunion, let's go and go for Reunion Man on that one. And they keep them off draw and get that little extra dredge action going too. So right now we just have a narco Amoeba and a blood gas on the battlefield. Draw to anger of the gods. Okay, let's go to get the misty down. I guess technically we could go anger of anger of the gods right now. It's going to get rid of the narco Amoeba and the blood gas. We'll have a little bit better of a clock after that. And you're just looking at a stinkweed coming across. I guess we can always go anger of the gods out of the graveyard. Let's go and go for that. Let's go and crack the misty. Let's go and get the steam vents down. Let's go and shock that in. Let's go for Anger of the Gods. Worst comes to worst, we'll be online for Snapcaster out of the graveyard on Anger of the Gods to kind of keep anything going from there. So they are kind of put in a spot. Depending on what their hand is, they may dredge life from the loam to make sure they can start making their land drops. But it looks like they ended up going for the uh, Stinkweed Imp. Now they do have Dark Blast coming out of the graveyard off that dredge, so we have to watch out for that. But with being a 2-2 and a 1-4, we're going to be in a pretty good little spot from there. Okay, got the Cathartic Reunion going. See if we can't survive this one. Uh, discard two cards and draw three cards. There's going to be a Blood Gas. They're going to be able to get back Narco Amoeba. That's going to bring back the Prized Amalgam. And what we can do is now we're getting into the spot now where we can finally flash into Seaver Exarch and tap down whatever sort of Prized Amalgam they want to kind of just lessen the um, lessen the damage that's coming across. And then right now that's going to be seven. So that's going to put us down to eight. Let's go ahead and... We don't really have Snap... We could leave up Snapcaster Remand if we want to go for that. Um, yeah, let's go and go for that. Let's get down the Desolate Lighthouse. That way we're not taking too much damage. Get down the Desolate Lighthouse. That way it leaves us online for Snapcaster Remand, or we can simply just flash in to see our XR at the end of the turn, and then go for the Kiki Jiki from there. They never really saw what we had going on as far as flashing any of our combo pieces, so we're actually going to be okay on this one. And if they're just swinging in for 7 this turn, then uh, we can survive that, so... All right, swinging in for seven. It's going to put us down to eight. And then let's see. But yeah, as far as dredge goes, I'm actually currently working on Sultai Vengevine right now, which is a, I've always enjoyed playing Sultai Vengevine, and it was really cool to see. Um, I mentioned Red Green Vengevine earlier in the match uh, because it was on Star City Games this past weekend. So um, that's definitely a pretty cool little thing to see. Red Green Vengevine. It's us it's utilizing the um, five mana creature uh, from the most recent set. I can't remember what it's called, but um, it costs two less for each card that you've discarded that turn. So it's going to flash into Seaver Exart, and then we're going to have the Kiki Jiki follow up. So we're going to be able to close this one out. Let's go ahead and I guess we'll just untap one of our lands. Why not? Untap our Steam Vents. Let's go and pass it over. We're going to go and shock that Steam Vent in, depending well, depending on what we draw into. I have to discard a few cards. But it feels so good to go for the Deceiver. Oh, we draw into Kiki Jiki. I'll take that. Let's go to Shock in the Steam Vents. Let's go for Kiki Jiki at Triple Red. Get this down. Alright, we're going to make a copy of Deceiver Exarch. And it's going to enter the battlefield. We're going to untap Kiki Jiki. And then we're going to keep. Um, Alright, opponent scoops it up. Appreciate that one. Uh, most of the time, you're going to have your opponent's going to scoop up on something like that. It's going to save you the clicking. But if they didn't, you'd have to manually start clicking through there. Um, is there anything else we want to change? Uh, we brought in the Anger of the Gods. That was really nice. You know, an argument could be made for Tarmogoyf, uh, bringing that in. We are splashing a uh, stomping ground for a playset of Tarmogoyfs. Uh, but I think on this one, I kind of like going for the Kiki Jiki combo. And, you know, they're going all in Graveyard. And if we can kind of get out from underneath it, uh, we'll definitely go from there. So let's go ahead and uh, send this one over to game three. Now that they know that the jig is up and that we're running the Kiki Jiki combo, we just got to watch out for some spot removal. But it, it's fun. Uh, it's fun jamming the combo. It feels really good. You'll get a lot of people that are just like, oh, I thought that thing was gone. <laughs> What's going on, man? Now, as far as opening hand, we've got Steam Vents, we've got Peak, we have Serum Visions, Anger of the Gods, Lightning Bolt. Yeah, I think I like this. Uh, we don't really have any of our combo pieces, but we might be able to catch something out of the graveyard if we cycle the uh, the nimble. Yeah, let's go and keep on this one. 
Hopefully we'll be able to get into a second red source and they go for a really nice dredge turn and then we'll be able to kind of exile some of that stuff and hopefully kind of uh, stabilize from there. But yeah, if you don't win with the Kiki Jiki combo, one thing that you can certainly go for would be... Um, you just kind of go for a tempo style deck, you know, just a bunch of snap lightning bolts, and uh, I've won a few games where you're just swinging in with two Deceiver X Arts for, for two each turn. I mean, it's a very slow, withering death, but it gets the job done sometimes, especially if you have a lot of remands or a lot of uh, fog style effects of Cryptic Command or something like that. I'm also running two of the uh, two Nimble in here, which has been really cool so far. Um, I like to. Um, you know, give new cards a shot in here, and it's it's been good. And yeah, at the worst case, it's a three-one flyer that you can flash in at the end of your opponent's turn to kind of go from there. So, okay, opponent goes for faith is looting. This will be blood gas and conflagrate in the graveyard. Let's see, we draw into for the turn. Hopefully, it's in land. Draw into in the steam fence. Yeah, let's go and shock that in. Gonna pay two life. <laughs> let's go ahead and go for a serum vision. See if we can't kind of set some stuff up. Lightning bolt, kiki jiki. I think at this point in the game, we're, we're kind of banking on Anger of the Gods. Let's go ahead and put both of these on the bottom. It'd be nice to have some spot removal, but I think at this point, we want to make sure that we're going to be online for Kiki Jiki, or we can keep hitting our land drops and go for Nimble, and maybe kind of kind of go for a little slow little race from there. But uh, but yeah, the fun the combo is a lot of fun. You'll have those games where you win, but those other games where you're just simply just grinding it out like a lightning bolt at a time and snapcaster swinging in those uh, some very rewarding magic games off that. Okay, opponent gets down the insolent neonate. They're gonna crack that, and the ancient grudge in the graveyard. So we don't really have any artifacts to worry about. So we're gonna be okay on that. And they're off to not that crazy of a start right now. So we're actually doing okay. And if we want to, we can even uh, go ahead and lightning bolt the crypt gas from there. Drawn to Electrolyze. Okay, so we're going to be online for Peak and Lightning Bolt if we shock the Steam Vents in. Is that what we want to leave up right now? We can simply just put it in the Play tab. That's going to leave Blood Gas coming across. Uh, that's going to put us on simply just going for Peak. Yeah, let's just go and put the uh, the Steam Vents into Play tapped on this one. I kind of like that. We're going to put it in Play tapped. Not going to pay two. And we're going to go pass the turn. So if we need to, we can go for Peak on our turn. If they get something kind of crazy out there, we can go for Lightning Bolts. And the next turn we'll be online for Electrolyze. We'll be able to kind of spread the damage out between any other sort of creatures they get out there and hopefully kind of stabilize from here. So it makes the deck fun, man. You're just trying to uh, <laughs> just very slowly work towards that Kiki Jiki combo. And let's see, they've got two lands down. See if they're going to make the land drop for the turn on turn three. They don't have life. We haven't seen life from the low or anything. Faith is looting. Okay. Draw two cards, discard two cards. And then that's going to be Prize Amalgam and Blood Gas coming back out of the graveyard. So, with that coming back, this may be a really good opportunity for us to go for an Anger of the Gods next turn. We're going to get rid of that. You know, we could Lightning Bolt the Blood Gas, um, but uh, getting rid of them with the Anger of the Gods is going to be a really nice effect for us. Especially if they get anything else going. Life from the Loam, Wood of Foothills, okay. And let's go ahead and go for the Peak on our opponent's hand. Let's, ooh, we're looking at an Abrupt Decay. Got it. Okay, so we got Abrupt Decay, Stomp, and then we got a Wooded Foothills. Okay, I'm going to draw a card. So we draw into draw into Jace. It's going to breeze back the Prized Amalgam. Let's go ahead and go for the, um, yeah, let's go ahead and go for the, uh, the Anger of the Gods. Let's go get the Desolate Lighthouse down. Let's go Anger of the Gods. Get rid of everybody. Anything else? No, we're going to go and pass turn. So, they don't really have much of a graveyard going on. They do have Life in the Loam as far as their, um, their uh, dredge option, and they just dredge it, and they just hit a bunch of lands. They have Stomping Ground in the hand, and Wooded Foothills, and then Abrupt Decay. So, uh, what we can do is we can go for Jace next turn, get down Jace, and start looting from that. We can also flash in Nimble, and kind of start going for a little bit of value, kind of uh, applying a clock on our opponent. So, we actually may end up flashing that in next turn. Alright, got the Stomping Ground down, and I don't think they still have the Wooded Foothills in the hand. Nakobiva in the Graveyard. Yeah, let's go ahead and um, we're online for Cryptic Command. We're online for Flashing in the Nimble. That's going to be 3 the following turn. Puts them down to 12. Lightning Bolt 9. Electrolyze puts them down to 7. Um, yeah, we're kind of getting somewhere. Yeah, let's go and see if we can't get the uh, Nimble Obstructionist down. Uh, get her coming across. I think it's a her. It's like a yeah, it looks like a female. So we can go for her. If not, if they get any sort of uh, cast anything out there, we can go for a Cryptic Command and kind of count that and get a little card draw going. Go for another Dredge off the Life from the Loam. See, they're casting now. But yeah, we can either counter something with Cryptic Man or just leave it up if they could finally do develop a nice little board state. Cathartic Reunion. So as far as their dredge options, they have two dredge out of the graveyard. 
Yeah, let's go and crack the Scalding Tar. Let's go Cryptic Command Counter, and then that puts him on, I think, just Abrupt Decay in the hand. So let's go and crack the Scalding Tarn. Pretty sure we clicked on it, but I don't want to click on it again. There we go, okay. So Scalding Tar, let's go and grab a Mountain off that. No, we need to grab a Steam Vents, excuse me, if we're going to need Triple Blue. Let's go and shock that in. Let's go Counter Target Spell, draw a card. Hopefully the land drop, that'll put us in Jace next turn, and then we can flash in Nimble. Ooh, drawn to Anger the Gods, I'll take that. Let's move that over there. Gonna kick it over there. So the last card in their hand is an Abrupt Decay. Drawn to land, that's awesome. Let's go and get the Scalding Tarn down. Let's go and go for Jace. And we are getting the point now to where we loot with Jace, and we're gonna be online to get down Jace. And then it'll have it flip, so we can start casting some of these Lightning Bolts out of the graveyard, since we don't have Snapcaster. And then we can also simply just go, probably gonna go for the Nimble Obstructionist next turn, and start swinging in from there. Now, as far as their dredge options, they do have Golgari Thug coming out of the graveyard. If they want to, they do have Faithless Looting as one of their uh, flashback options, but I think there's only one flip Faithless Looting right now. So that would, we were looking at Life from the Loam, you know, they could dredge the Life from the Loam and go Gary Thug off the Faithless Looting. But we still have um, Anger of the Gods, and then we'll have Jace flipping next turn, so we'll be in a good spot. And let's go and crack the Scalding Tarn. Let's go and grab an Island off this one. So right now, we're going on the value game plan. We have Kiki Jiggy in the hand. We have enough mana for Deceiver Exarch, so we can tap out for that. Um, but we don't have it in the hand, but it, you know, it is certainly something nice to kind of start working towards. Let's go and get the Island down. Let's get down Nimble. Let's go and flash that in. And, you know, Nimble's really nice in that we get to kind of catch some stuff randomly. Let's say we're going for a tempo play and our opponent uh, cracks at our third or fourth land. We can simply cycle it and kind of act as a lay destruction style spell. So that's always really nice. Draw on two remands. Okay. Let's go and draw a card and then discard a card. That way we can get Jace to flip on this one. That way we kind of force them to use the um, Abrupt Decay if they want to. In response to that. Okay, draw, ooh, draw on to Pestermite. Um, let's go ahead on this one. Let's go and discard the remand. It's going to get Jace to flip. Let's go and swing in for three right now. If we want to, we can go for the Serum Vision, but let's just go and swing three. That's going to put him down to 12. We have Lightning Bolt Electrolyze up, or we can simply just flash in Pestermite and kind of have that, uh, leave them up for that, especially if they get out of the Abrupt Decay mana range. So, And then let's go ahead and... I just want to just plus up on Jace right now. We could go for Serum Visions, but that cuts us off... Um, well, we can go. Either way, we're looking at three mana between Electrolyze and Pestermite, and then we'll still have access to Lightning Bolt. So let's go ahead and um, let's actually let's just plus up on one right now. We're going to plus up on Jace. That's going to leave us two options to minus three, minus three to start casting some stuff out of the graveyard. We still have Lightning Bolt, Electrolyze to go for, and then Pestermite, and we'll go and pass it over to our opponent. So you can see this is kind of the tempo style element that we're going for the deck. You know, we have Nimble out there, swimming in for three next turn, it's going to put them down to nine. If they start getting a little bit frisky with their Wooded Foothills and their Shocklands, it's going to put them into Bolt range and Electrolyze range, so doing pretty good. Enjoy it. But yeah, that's unfortunate. I never got to play Twin. I, I really wanted to play Twin. As, uh, I didn't really actually want to start playing until I got banned. That was always a bummer for me. <laughs> I was like, dang it, man, why, why do we get to get that going? So... Alright, our opponent does have the Abrupt Decay in the hand still, and they only have two mana up right now, so as far as what they want to go for, they might have actually discarded the Abrupt Decay. That was one of the cards I think that they discarded. Draws two cards, discards, Golgari Thug, and Life of the Null. Excuse me, that was one of the ones that they dredged. Okay, so they're still online for Abrupt Decay. How do we want to sequence this? We could just go strictly value off this. So we've got Lightning Bolt, Flashback on Jace, that's another three. That's six, puts him down to five, Electrolyze. Yeah, let's just go and go for it. Let's go Electrolyze up top. Just two damage up top. We're going to be able to draw another card off that. And if we hit Snapcaster, then we can go Bolt and kind of something else from there. Let's go and go draw into another Jace. Let's go Lightning Bolt up top. Puts him down to six. And then we have Nimble swinging in, so we can kind of go for that. Oh, for drawn to snap. Ooh, beautiful snapcaster. All right, let's go and swing in for six. I mean, excuse me, swing in for three. It's going to force him to go for the uh, abrupt decay on the nimble, unless we can just simply flash it back with uh, with the jace. All right, swing it in for three. It's going to put him down to three if this goes through. Okay, it does go through, and then we're online for the jace ability ca casting it out of the graveyard. It's going to put him down to zero. So let's go and go for that. Let's go lightning bolt. Send the lightning bolt up top. There we go. One red mana. And that puts it down to zero. So, 
you can see where we can kind of close it out without the Kiki Jiki combo uh, and you kind of go for more of a tempo style deck, which we ended up going through that. So, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.